And so this is this. Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Jorge and this is a craft training training. And if you're new here, welcome. Today I bring you yet another version of the DigiPack tutorial, but this time it is a two panel DigiPack with a plastic insert tray instead of a sleeve. So it looks a little bit like this. And instead of the CD coming out of the side, it has its own DJ tray. It's similar to other videos I've done before, but it's a little bit different. That's why I'm making it its own video. So with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Start off by going into the description of this video and click on the link that says templates. This should take you to my OneDrive folder where you will see three folders. Select the one labeled templates. Now that you are there, locate and select the file two panel digipack with digitray and download it. Open it using Photoshop. It should look something like this. Once open, design to your liking. Remember to leave the blackout layers and the lines layer at the top and then merge everything together. Leave Photoshop aside for now and go back to the description of the video once more and click on the link again. This time, open the folder Paper Sizes. Once inside the Paper Sizes folder, locate and select the file with the name Tabloid. Download it and open it using Photoshop. Don't forget to rotate it 90 degrees, either to the right or to the left. Once it has been opened, go back to the digipack file and select the whole file and copy it. Then return to the tablet file and paste the image. It should place itself in the middle. After you've done everything, all that needs to be done is to print it. You should have something like this. I recommend you to cover your digipack using contact paper as the CD may suffer a great deal of wear for managing too much. First, cut the images out of the negative spaces. Then, once your image has been cut out, we need to mark the folds. If you use the lines layer that I provided, use them to guide where to fold, using a ruler and a bone folder. After the folds have been marked, you need to start bringing the digipack together. On the tab, where we will put glue, it's important to either use a glue that sticks to plastic, since contact paper is plastic, or you can do what I did. Using a craft knife, I gently score the plastic by half of the tub to cut the plastic, but not the paper. Once I did this, I used my craft knife to lift the edge of the plastic and proceed to peel it off. If you notice that the paper is coming off of that part, that's fine, as long as it does not repass the tab. If you notice that at the end I got rid of one of the tabs, that's because I made a mistake with the design, but the design included on the link has been corrected. Then proceed to put glue on the tab and then bring the inside and the outside together to join them as one. Once the digipack is like this, it has a slit on the side because the booklet will come out of that slit. Where the CD will go, you may have noticed that there's no flaps. That is because we just need to glue the outside and the inside together. You can use either a glue stick or spray adhesive. I opted for spray adhesive as it lays flatter. Once the inside and the outside have been glued, here is where you will put the digi tray. I use glue dots on the spots on the digi tray to glue it on top, but you can also use epoxy glue or hot glue. But hot glue may not last very long if you use the CD a lot. All that you have to do now is to put your CD and the booklet onto the packaging. I have tutorials on the CD and the type of booklet I use. Link is in the corner as well as in the description. And just like that, you have a CD that looks very professional. And that is it for today's video guys i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and if you are thank you so much don't forget that you can follow me on my social media such as instagram twitter and tiktok at crafter training and i'll see you guys in the next video bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye.